Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Nugget, do you want to say hi? Look right there. Look, look at this. Oh, 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 not so close. <laughs> Welcome to the new arrival roundup. Apparently Nugget has had enough of it already. He jumped down. Oh, I think he's going to take a nap. Don't worry, he'll be barking in a few minutes. So last week we did this roundup live. Thank you to everybody that stopped by and chatted with me and watched the replay later. I, it was just kind of a thing that happened. So if, if you didn't watch that because it was live, you don't like lives or whatever, what happened was I recorded the whole roundup as usual, and then it just didn't pick up any audio at all. So it was just me moving my mouth for 30 minutes and no sound. So I, instead of just re-recording it all, I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to do this live. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to always do that. I'm not changing the format or anything. So if that was worrying you, then no, here I am as usual. Uh, background's a little different. Uh, these toys, oh, I need to silence my phone. I'm leaving those back there. I know it's an eyesore, but Nugget likes it and Nugget gets what Nugget wants. So those are going to be there. <laughs> Apparently this is going to be another one of those roundups where we have a whole thunderstorm in the middle of it. So exciting. Anyway, if you're new to the new arrival roundup, what we're going to do is look at all the images that Diamond Art Club has posted on their social medias this week. And we will talk about all of the images that are being made into kits. These kits that we're going to look at, or these images that we'll look at today that are going to be kits are going to be released uh, tomorrow. Yeah, Ooh, I've already lost track of the day of the week. It actually is Friday. Okay, tomorrow they will be released. That will be August the 6th. And the release times are 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 p.m. Eastern for Diamond and Ruby level members. And then at 9.30 a.m., Pacific at 12 30 p.m. Eastern. That will be the general access release. Sorry, I'm getting getting tongue-tied. My kids are like playing video games in the other room and they keep yelling so I keep repeating things and it, it's a whole mess. As usual, hey, you guys are here for the mess, I hope. <laughs> if you're here for professionalism, I apologize. Whoa, I'm looking at my my face here on the camera on the recording and it's getting very dark and I look very shiny. So, well, hope you like shiny. Also, as always, the sneak peeks will be linked down below. So if you want any more information about any of these kits, just check down there. There'll be a whole unboxing video for you to take a look at. Okay. So this week we didn't get a midweek release. Cool. That's fine. Um, also just a little update. If you did watch the live where I was obsessing about this particular hello, Hello. There she is. I was obsessing about this one. It didn't end up being limited edition, so I haven't purchased it yet, but um, I kind of really need to. But hey, this week we've got some really cool ones too. So maybe I can put her and another one in the cart. That way I can get free shipping. That's what we do here, right? Okay, so here is a pretty displayed piece. They, they posted this. This was someone else's work. Um, that they mounted this way. It looks really nice. And they posted it four days ago, apparently. I can't even remember what day of the week it was. But anyway, I, I thought it looked nice. So I'll show you guys. Now we will start the releases for this Saturday. Oh, I didn't even notice that these have little faces. Oh, that, okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm already analyzing it. I haven't even told you what it is. This is floating along by, wait, this is an Instagram handle. Isn't this a Jeremiah Kettner though? I'm clicking the Instagram handle. I said I'm clicking it. Hello, what is even happening? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it's Jeremiah Kettner. Okay, so that's Jeremiah Kettner's Instagram handle. Oh, look at this. Now, okay, I'm going, I'm going rabbit holing. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these things. Oh my goodness. So much prettiness. Oh, that's freaking adorable. Anyway, 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 we're going back. Okay. So this is floating along by Jeremiah Kettner. It is 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 46 colors, six ABs. Six ABs is quite an amount. Okay, here's the rendering. Oh, it's so cute. 
Okay, here is the full image on Facebook and the full rendering. I really, like, I, I only ever look at these on Instagram. I don't check the, the Facebook until I do it with you guys for this video. So a lot of times I, when I'm just looking at it on my phone, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty, but not for me. And then when I look at it for the roundup, I'm like, oh, maybe it is for me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. I, I mean, it's got pink in it. It's got adorable little animals. I, I love the little smiley faces on these little star things. Super cute. Also, it looks like it wouldn't be like a color blocking nightmare of, of any kind. It looks like there's plenty of, I don't want to say necessarily confetti because I can't really tell, but it looks like there's a lot of color changes or not a lot of the same color in the same spot over and over and over. Uh, since I, I don't know if I mentioned this or when I mentioned it, but I've just reverted back to single placing. Like I taught myself how to multi-place and I liked it for a minute. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just a single placer. That's just where my heart is. And color blocking in large amounts is just kind of a nightmare <laughs> if you exclusively single place. Anyway, that that's nothing about this in particular. I, I freaking love it. The more I look at it, the more I love it. it. Would would we assume that that this one is? I don't want to like gender things that don't need genders, but it just kind of looks like this one doesn't have like the little pink blush on the cheeks. So are we to assume that this is a little female one and this is a male one? I don't know. I that that matters like absolutely zero. I, it was just a fun little observation. There might be a little bit of a pinkish tone here. Um, no, maybe not. I don't think so, but I definitely see some pinkish right there. And maybe it's just the way the light hit, is hitting it. Let's go back to the original image. Yeah. See in the original image, they both have a little pink tone to their cheeks. I guess that it just was the rendering just kind of picks it up more in this one. Okay. Let's move along as the weather just deteriorates. Oh my goodness, now the wind is blowing really bad. Anyway, <laughs> this one. All right, this is called Breakfast Spaghetti. It. I am getting a phone call. I have no idea what I was saying or if I even introduced this uh, image here. So I'm gonna introduce it again. This is breakfast spaghetti. It is 33 centimeters by 33 centimeters. Oh, a good size. It's round drill. It has 17 colors with five ABs. I, I do kind of like how we're getting some Christmassy stuff already. Like I, I know that we did Christmas in July, like last week, I think. And I just, I thought that that was just a one-off thing, but I guess they're gonna kind of sprinkle them in sometimes. Anyway, there is the rendering. I don't know if it's cut off or not though. I think it might've been cut off a little bit on the sides. Anyway, there's the full image, adorable. And there's the full rendering. So this one is really small, probably very beginner friendly. It looks like it has some nice colorful little blocks in the background. And then it, it doesn't have an overwhelming amount of colors. All of these little items here sitting on the table and the little spaghetti all look like they would be fun to do. And of course, our beautiful elf there. <laughs> he, he's got some blocking there in his face. All of this looks like one color in the hair and then the hat has some blocking. Yeah, that, that would be really fun for a beginner. It would be really fun for anybody, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I just said that I don't really love huge blocks of color, but this isn't what I would say is like huge. I mean, it, the background is broken up, so I think that it would still be fine to single place it if you so chose. Okay, let's look at the next set. Uh, I want to be there. Uh, this one is Maui Morning by Scott Westmoreland. It is 55.7 centimeters by 70.6 centimeters, which is 22 by 28 inches, which is a more solid number there to think about. It's round drill. It has 54 colors with four ABs. I, if this one is cut off, which it probably is because most of the time in a landscape, Instagram will, will crop it. So that means I haven't seen it. I've just seen this, which is really gorgeous. So, okay, here it is on 
Facebook, so it wasn't cropped. If it was, it was just like top and bottom. The, there's not a whole bunch on the sides. So I was I was thinking like, whoa, what is even going to be there? But it, it wasn't cropped out. Oh, I didn't even notice the little hammock. Anyway, here's the rendering on Facebook. Super pretty, super colorful, very summery. I love it. What can I say? But I love it. And it doesn't look, usually landscapes are like confetti nightmares, but this one looks like in the background, the sky has a lot of like blocks of blue, different blues. So you're still changing it up, but it wouldn't be like confetti confetti. Now the trees on the other hand, probably, <laughs> probably down here is going to be more confetti. How many colors did it say? 54 colors. So yeah, I'm sure there's plenty going on. I'm sure these, yeah, these flowers do, well, let me go back to Facebook where I can see it bigger. Yeah, the flowers look like they got a lot going on. Yeah, so like confetti and blocking, something for everybody, really pretty. I mean, what more can I say? All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I I love it. I, I don't have a husky, I've never had a husky, but I love it and I might need this. This is Silver Husky Dog by Peggy Collins. It is 65 by 87 centimeters. That's that's bigger than I thought it would be. It is square drill too. I, I thought it was gonna be round. It has 29 colors with two ABs. So many surprising things in what I just read for some reason. It's, it's a lot bigger than I thought. It is square when I thought it would be round. And it also has fewer colors than I would. Like, this just looks like there's color, color, color happening everywhere. But that's just my perception because there, it's a very busy image. It doesn't really have that many colors, which is exciting. And let, let me go to the rendering. Oh, what an amazing rendering. Like, look at the eye specifically. Like, look at it here. And then the rendering. That eye is perfection. Also, confetti delight. I would take such joy in doing this. Let me check it out on Facebook just to see. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure that it was cut off at all, but this is bigger. And let's show you the rendering. I am so impressed with this. So impressed. And you know, there's an event going on right now, the claws and paws. This would be perfect. So if you wanted to get in on that, but you didn't have a kit. There you go. It's calling to you. I, I'm i really into this. I'm really into it. And But it, it is kind of big, so maybe I shouldn't like really devote myself to the idea of doing this one. But I really want a, a super, not, okay. I don't want to say I want a super confetti heavy piece because somebody's going to recommend that I do like a like a heaven and earth de designs conversion or something because I don't know if I want to really do that much but every once in a while I just feel like I would love to do a section of confetti right now it, this is coming from a person who's doing a lot of blocking right now maybe that's why I'm just like please some confetti because <laughs> I'm doing that uh snowy owl that I did the sneak peek for last week I'm still working on that and I I just chose to do it so stupid I chose to save the biggest blocking sections for last and do them like all together do all the blocking parts together like why did I do that why didn't I break it up and disperse it I don't know that was my own stupid fault it's a wonderful piece by the way I'm loving how it's turning out I can't wait to show it to you when I finally finish the color blocking I wonder how many ABs did it say I can't stop talking about this one I'm sorry if you're tired of it already it's two ABs like I hope a white and I hope a blue that's my perceptions from what I'm seeing here. It looks like the eye needs like either that white or the blue part or maybe both to be AB. It really seems like there's some nice blue pops in this one. So I would really hope for a blue, but then there's also these kind of golden areas that might would suit an AB. I don't know. Uh, just surely somebody got a sneak peek of this one and I'll just have to watch it. But, oh, I'm hyped about this one. I wonder if it will sell out. Am, am I overhyping this or is everybody really excited? Like, like, let's take a look at the, oh, oh, there's tons of comments. People are, oh, look at that puppy. Okay. Oh, we're going way off track here. All right. All right. Now, 
Oh, another really exciting one. This one is called One Bite by, it's it's Julie Filipinko, right? I, this is another Instagram handle that doesn't say the person's name. Yeah, Julie Filipinko. Also uh, some artwork. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Diamond Art Club. Get th this one. I I've said I don't like eyeballs in weird places. I'll do this one anyway. Oh my goodness. How pretty. What? What? Okay, we need we need like all of these. <laughs> I need all of these. Wasn't this artist also licensed with Dreamer Designs? I wonder how that works. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna go too much into that in case it's like super crazy legal business, which I'm sure it is. I don't want to try to guess how that actually works. Hello, I want to look at this pretty picture again. Hello. There it is. All right. So. This one, one bite, it is 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 52 colors with three ABs. I, lo I love the animals. Like, obviously, I mean, this is a Snow White thing. I love the, the apple. I love her. But the animals, I just think, are the shining stars of this piece. Oh, and the rendering is so good. I love the animals and the rendering too. Obviously, she's good. She's good. Everything, everything else is good too. I, I'm just a little animal obsessed. Okay, here it is on Facebook. Here's the rendering on Facebook. I love this. I I hope we get more pieces. I hope we get some in squares. I feel like I would that this would be a little tighter in squares, a little bit more definition, and I would like that better. But I still think the rendering looks wonderful i think my favorite is the little squirrel I, I just the cuteness the face uh i cannot get past it we've had a lot of like disney but not disney things in recent weeks let me go back to instagram like i'm not really sure the legalities of that as well <laughs> now that uh i've been talking about like the legal jargon of everything i don't know how any of that works but like we got the it's Tinkerbell. It looks like Tinkerbell, but it's not Tinkerbell. It's not called Tinkerbell. It's not specifically overtly Tinkerbell, but to me, it just has like hardcore Tinkerbell vibes. Then we got that one that was, it was that Christmas in July one that's not on social media. This one, that's like so Elsa. It's, it's so Elsa, and yet it's not saying that it's Elsa. So does that mean we can get away with it <laughs> like if if you don't say it's disney do you not can you like do fan art of disney stuff if you don't say that it's disney and it'd be okay and you don't have to be like licensed with disney or whatever i'm i'm just not sure how it works and then clearly this is snow white now snow white is not necessarily disney and neither necessarily is tinkerbell or um elsa like there are are they folk tales, fairy tales, whatever you want to call them, old stories, Grimm's fairy tales. I don't know where all of these originate from, but like Disney didn't create Snow White. They just Disney fight her. And I guess that's how you work around the legalities of it. Um, I mean, she's wearing the clothes Snow White wore in the movie, but I don't know if the movie had some inspiration. Like, do we have some illustrated Snow Whites that predate Disney that look like this. I, I don't know. Whoa. Rabbit hole. Hardcore. I love this. This is pretty. She's pretty. I love it. What's around her neck? It looks like a tooth. Is that a tooth? What did you kill, Snow White? Okay. Well, that's probably some. if I read the older fairy tale, I would probably know. But anyway, um, uh, did I talk about three ABs? I didn't talk about what I think the ABs might be. Like, it looks like a yellow might work. Maybe a white. Red? Do we want to say red? Hmm. I don't know. Red or green. That's hard. There's a lot of stuff that might look good. Oh, a green. If if they put it in her eye, that would be really pretty. But also the red in her lips. Maybe I'm skipping the yellow now. Maybe forget the yellow. Let's do white, red, and green. <laughs> because I make the rules here. Sure. Okay. Next one. 
I love this one too. Oh, I love it so much. This is Flowers and Tassel by Claudia Trimble. Cla Claudia Trimble Studio is what this says. I'm going to assume that the artist is Claudia Trimble. Yes. Okay. Also, some more gorgeous stuff. Really pretty. Okay. I am getting sidetracked so much today. <laughs> Okay, back to this. This is Flowers and Tassel by Claudia Tremblay. It is 51 centimeters by 66 centimeters. Ooh, good size. Round drill, 38 colors with two ABs. Oh, that renders so nicely. Oh, that's so good. I really like that. I wouldn't show it to you on Facebook. Okay, there's the full image. And there's the full rendering. I love this. I need, as always, when any diamond painting of a person of color comes up i get really concerned about the drill choices for the skin tones because it just seems like they have consistently been very orangey in a lot of kits and i just want to see i i know i think i did see a sneak peek pop up of this one i i hope we're getting a sneak peek i like to see skin colors in every kit that has skin but particularly a person of color, I want to see, I want this to look as rich and nice as it does here in the rendering. And I don't want it to get too orange, but Diamond Art Club usually does a great job of this. So I'm, I'm sure that it's fine. I also bet that this is confetti in the hair. I love it. Now the background does look like it's broken up a little bit. It's not just a big block of that like um, creamy color. There's lots going on, at least like, oh, I'm trying to count, but like one, two, three, at least four or five different colors back there. Probably more than that. Uh, that's just all I can make out. But this would be so fun. Why do I want them all? I always want them all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, I forgot about the dolphins. Sorry, I just blew into the mic. That was probably horrible. This one is super gorgeous. I wonder how many colors, I know it's gonna tell me right over here, but I always like to guess stuff. This seems like it would have a lot of colors and a lot of ABs in it, but we shall see. This is Tropical Dolphins by Sergio Artbeat Studio. It is 95 centimeters by 70 centimeters. All right, that's a big one. It's square drill, it has 67 colors. Okay, that, that was kind of what I was thinking. Five ABs, could definitely see that happening. A gorgeous rendering. A perfect rendering. I love it. I wonder if any is cut off though. Oh, I still don't know if any was cut off, but this is way bigger and it's so freaking pretty. And then here is the rendering. So many intricate pieces here. Now the, the dolphins are clearly going to get like the, they're going to be the shining star of this rendering. Like you can kind of look back here and see that these like background animals are a lot more defined in the uh, original art like the flamingos and the what leopard leopard Woo! don't know my big cats do i anyway they're a little bit more pixely in the rendering but the dolphins are are the clear winners here and i love this effect diamond art club has done this several times with several different uh images from different artists where there are animals under the water and there is like this dappling of sunshine filtered through the water touching the animal and they do it so well it's so good spot on i think it looks perfect and look at all the little fishies <laughs> all the tiny little fishies which also look really good by the way and then all the coral down here gosh there's so much color i'm sure that this is this is confetti central like the sky with this rainbow and all of the different like colors of the the sunset it would be fun like this this would also be another one that would appeal to me so much i want to do i want to do some confetti some color Oh, it's so pretty. I hope that we get a white AB because this looks perfect for that. Having just like all of these speckly splashes of water to be AB and then maybe the sun even as a big block of white AB, that would be perfect. Now, I, I don't know what I would say for the others though. Like pick a color, any color, make it an AB. It'll be perfect. I, I would kind of hope for a green, but if that wasn't there uh, that's fine <laughs> like any anything anything and i'll be happy 
I did see a sneak peek of this one. I didn't watch it, but I saw it pop up. So we definitely got one. Definitely go watch it. I I want all these. That I want them all again. Is this the first or the second one of this post? I think I think that this is the first one. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Oh, I bet everybody's freaking out about this one. Like, I, I mean, obviously, I can appreciate it. Um, we we saw lots of Alphonse Mucha during Summer with the Masters. And, well, I'll, let me just read you the description. This is Zodiac by Alphonse Mucha. It is 70 centimeters by 93 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 41 colors with four ABs full image on our Facebook. We shall look at that in just a minute. This one is larger than I was expecting. I also think it has more colors than I was expecting. I don't I don't know why. Like I have no justification for my thoughts about the colors. Like I just didn't think it would be a lot, but it is. Oh, what an excellent rendering. Wow. Okay, it we need to look at it on Facebook, obviously. Okay, there is the full image. Here is the full rendering. Oh, I love how they did this bottom part with like that outline. That looks really good. Anyway, what I was saying is summer with the masters, everybody was doing mukas. Everybody, everybody picks <laughs> some Alphonse Muka. A lots of different shops had different Alphonse Muka kits for sale and it just seems like we're having a moment <laughs> we're, we're, a muka moment and everybody's doing these i think they're beautiful but it's i think that maybe it's like the muted colors that don't draw me in i don't know i don't know what it is but like i'm not typically drawn to these as much as other old masters like i'm more of a like a clint type person I don't know. I don't know. I, I These are beautiful. I would do one, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Absolutely. I do think that the rendering on this is really astounding. Like, I mean, I know that you couldn't possibly give all the definition back here to all of these other, like, zodiac symbols. I know that you couldn't possibly do all of the definition in a diamond painting, but they've done so well with trying to like minimize the details but keep like enough that you can tell what it is it's not just like hey let's make this a blob and everybody will everybody will know what it is <laughs> like it, they didn't do that they were still like all right we want we want you to know what these things are but obviously we want the main detail to be up front which is like all of these different hair tendrils here gosh that's well done i love the neckline and i don't is all of this neckline or is this a necklace i can't really tell but it, it, beautiful very intricate looking and then down here the same thing with the the like outlining where you, they kept just enough detail that you can you can still tell it still looks great and all of these other intricate pieces these leafy what am I, what leafy borders up here at the top i'm trying to think of word describing words for all of these things i want to talk about and sometimes i just don't have words and i just circle things with my mouse this this is pretty i'm very impressed very impressed with the rendering on this um all of these things trinkets and things that are in her hair or hanging from her hair band thing or crown is it a crown hmm I don't know, whatever this is, decoration in her hair. Oh, it all looks so good. I wonder if this one will, will sell out. I mean, maybe if it had come up like prior to Summer with the Masters or, or during like early in the game where everybody could get it and do it for Summer with the Masters, then maybe it would have sold out. Maybe it'll still sell out. Hey, I mean, so it's, it's, it's seasons with the Masters. Let's just do old Masters all year long. <laughs> they are great. Okay, have we reached the end again? Boy, this one feels really rambly. I feel like I've been talking a really long time and I don't feel like most of it was about the kids, <laughs> but I guess you guys are used to that by now. All right, uh, during that time we had the storm and it passed and now the sun is starting to peek back out. Uh, not enough to make my face look normal, but anyway. <laughs> 
I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Let me know in the comments what you are planning to buy or skip this weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!